Howdy. Welcome to a new series of videos. I am bored and in lockdown, so I thought the most interesting thing I could possibly do was do a series of two, three minute videos about taking apart Azito things that I own and then putting them back together, hopefully. Let's get into it. Okay. I'm going to be taking apart the Power Exchange 4 amp hour 18 volt battery. To do so, we've got a T10 Torx bit and Let's get started. I'll just take it apart and then we can have a look inside. Okay, so screws are out and I think we can open it. Maybe I thought wrong. Oh no, we have to take off the label. Gross. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can sort that out. Um, that is a bit of a pain though. Okay, so we've got it open. It's a clamshell construction, so you have the upper and lower half. Got that battery indicator, and there's a little, uh, <laughs> a naughty little plastic piece that sits down in this hole here. Wow, it's going to be really hard to show it on camera. It just sits down in there. Don't lose that, otherwise you can't check your battery once you put it back together. Inside, we've got some silicon paste over the majority of the electronics. Uh, we got 10 battery cells in total and they are nickel welded. They're welded using a machine because they're all pretty much identical Like the welds are all identical. So you can tell this was done in a factory with with a proper welding machine um, And the the nickel strip seems pretty substantial I'm not sure if that's copper or like nickel plated copper or what it is but for realistically the 2030 amps that this battery could produce before it overheats the that's fine um, oh, lost a spring there as well. Be careful. There's so many small parts. Now, we can see here the battery cell is, let me read that out. It's an ICR 18650 2000 mAh 3.7 volt TP lithium ion MH46 oh, 46259. So, there you go. I think these are, um, I think these are okay cells, they're, they're not name brand, by the look of it, I don't think TP is a name brand cell, but, but you know, they're, they're used in all of these power tools and I haven't had a battery failure yet. Oh. I did have one where I used it for the wrong purpose and it failed, but in the tools, the, I haven't had a failure with these yet. Um, so that looks good. Uh, in terms of the battery construction quality, it's got this plastic on it, so any impacts, the cell should be protected pretty well. Looks like it's got a temperature sensor there, so it at least has some protection in the event of a problem. You have cell level connections, so a connection goes to the computer for every cell group in the battery pack, and that probably means it at least monitors for over voltage or under voltage conditions, but it might also perform balancing, but that's less likely. Something we've got here is a 40 amp fuse. Check that out. So it's just a piece of the nickel strip, except they've cut out the, the majority of it to make sure it pops at a certain um, current rating. So there you go. And that also speaks about the current rating of these because this is pretty similar to that when, when all the material was there. So these are probably, these will probably carry 100 amps or something before they get super hot, judge, just judging by it. Um, for anyone who's curious, the main MOSFET for turning the power on and power off is a ooh, hard to read CS260N06. So there you go. I'm not sure if that was even focused, but here we are. Okay, cool. Let's put it back together.
thanks for watching guys uh that was just a quick tear down of the battery as you can tell it still works um but yeah i don't know i'm just curious about this stuff i just like taking things apart honestly so if you enjoyed the video like and subscribe as always if it if you think it's a good video style let me know in the comments um if not we'll try something new but yeah i'm always open to ideas take it easy guys bless you